up against the high groove and is going a little too slow as Hal Goodson also said you can pass you have to do it down low and be careful not to pinch the car down too much Laughlin makes the move Here comes the 11 s Stacy Puryear in that black car Danny O'Quinn in the silver 02 up high so good battling for position Joe Harrison slow at the bottom of the racetrack oh big right, problem down problem. the main straightaway oh. the 16 car Clayton Rogers around look at him stack it up oh. Harrison's in the middle of it Danny O'Quinn in there Mario Gosselin's involved Glenn Gold in the 32. Looks like uh, Brian Ross there and a red flag on the front straightaway. Oh, well, it's a total traffic jam from wall to wall on board with Joel Kaufman looking straight at the side of, I think that's Clay Rogers' car. It is very heavily damaged. And it looked as though Rogers was kind of the first one to sort of lose it a little bit, and it started a chain reaction. There goes the two car of Steve Christian. He got moving and avoided most of it. The 28 of Michael Rich is involved, and they have brought this one to a halt. <laughs> wow. What else can they do? Brian Ross able to drive away. Jimmy Burns able to drive away. Here comes Jason McClellan in the three car moving away. But you know, wow. Clayton Rogers, the defending race winner here at Winchester in the championship series, looks like he's going to be out. Here's another look. Oh, man, the barrels are flying at the end of pit wall. The mess has not stopped yet. What? An incredible accident. Another look at it here. There you can see Clay Rogers sideways down the track. Into him goes Shoemaker and into the end of pit wall. And then it was just game over for anybody behind that wreck. Another look, another Coca-Cola replay from an onboard view. You can see the 16 Marty of Rogers. Lindley. This is from Marty Lindley's race car. He's pulling away from the mess. Let's climb on board with Joel Kaufman. He was in the middle of this one. Bang! And, oh. Wow. Stacey Furrier right there in the 11S who got hammered by Kaufman, one of the leading rookies in the L.A. West Chevrolet. Here's the car of Mario Goslin. Doesn't look very super there as he drives the 10S away. Man, oh man, that is way more than cosmetic damage on most of those cars. There is going to be some definite functional problems there. Radiators are going to are going to take the biggest hit right in the front of the car. And yeah, the 05 of David Stover is uh, d dove down pit road to uh, avoid the problem, so he's caught down there. There's Stacy Perrier's car. You can barely see the other one in the 11. Now, the problem here at Winchester, it's very wide, but you're going so fast. When you come off turn four, you're back on the throttle. Trouble in front of you, really nothing you can do. And they still haven't been able to get all those cars moving. The 44 of Kaufman is still parked. Mario Gosselin got rolling away, but that's as far as he went. The left rear tire is gone. The right side of the car is completely smashed in. Michael, Michael Rich, Rich yeah. yeah. Wow. Now, the, the, the big challenge here is going to be, we'll show it to you one more time, for all these teams to see who can repair their cars. Points at issue here. You want to get back in the race if at all possible. And again, those barrels that are used to absorb the impact at the end of pit wall did their job and scattered towards pit road, keeping uh, any more damage from happening to Kyle Shoemaker's car. One more look from Joel Kaufman's vantage point. Wow. <laughs> They tell a driver to wait until the noise stops before you unbuckle, and it took a while there for Kaufman. Well, it certainly did, and you might have want to count to five even after the noise stops because